Lorenzo Dolce here with finduse.org. We're just talking about how to own a gallery and all the things that I did. Uh, in the last one, we talked about LLCs. We talked about uh, federal trademarks. We talked about uh, leasing. Uh, please have your lease reviewed by a lawyer. Please, please, please. I had some leases where there were extra fees because of heat and electricity and all that consumption. Um, so. I uh, highly recommend that. Next thing you're going to want to do is build your gallery audience. I had a co-op, I had a, a, a retail gallery, and I had a, a, another co-op. The first co-op was Fracture, and basically a co-op is where the artist play, pay a monthly fee around 30, 40, 50 bucks, pays for the spot, they keep 100% of their commissions. Uh, National Gallery, we took 50%, the artist got 50%, so usually there was a 50% markup. But we had uh, contracts with Kid Robot, Strange Co., Super Rad Toys, uh, all kinds of stuff. We sold Toki Doki, we sold uh, Dunnies, we sold Monies, we had a Summer of Money show, things of that nature. Uh, some of the big artists that showed with us were Piz, uh, Ray Young Chu, uh, Sandy Calistro, Ian Welling, uh, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, I'll have to dig up some of the archives on Facture, uh, but it, it was a great time. Um, good, good times. My advice is when you, with every artist you get at your gallery, you must have a contract. And that contract has to be the terms of showing. You have to have an abandoned art uh, clause in your contract in case the artist doesn't pick up the art. What do you do with it? If you have an abandoned clause, uh, say it says I, we will be responsible for your art and will be insured up to uh, 90 days. After 90 days, it's considered abandoned and it's the property of A, B, and C. Uh, get those contracts. Uh, the other thing I suggest is you uh, don't sign exclusive contracts with artists. Uh, I would suggest you sign an open-ended contract and get the ability to uh, market and publish it, the uh, the artist's uh, show and work uh, for them uh, to get them some sales. Uh, gallery. You have to have an online presence. If you're selling products like Kid Robot and Strange Co and all that stuff, you have to have an e-commerce system. Uh, I built my own e-commerce system, but now I'm using Shopify. Highly recommend Shopify. It would be a great product for artist portal. Uh, it's probably what I'm going to use for find use. Uh, gallery ownership. What else? Um, how to find artists. Uh, artists um, are everywhere. Uh, I would suggest you do local artists and then look for national artists and then international artists. Uh, you can find a lot of people online. Great way to get a lot of artists is to do a jury show. With Factor, we used to do a no rejects jury show, and that jury show would be ten dollars uh, for uh, one, twenty for two, or thirty for three, and uh, it was a no reject show, so you were guaranteed to show one piece. We had like a hundred and fifty pieces in this little teeny gallery. It was amazing. So I suggest you do a jury show. Suggest you look for local artists. Suggest you look for um, uh, national and international artists. The ways to sell is corporate sales, individual sales, and um, things of that nature. So that's a whole other topic, sales. So gallery business, it is not that profitable. So just be careful. Hope you're having a good day.